Welcome back, survivors! I'm the Survival Vis, and we return to Siberian Expeditions, where we are finally starting into the request hunts. And I've had a couple of come in so far, and the first one we're going to be starting with is one left by Golden Frog Studios. So he left a hunt that has a Russian name and an English translation was included below, but it's I believe it's pronounced, and I had to use Google Translate for this, so don't give me any credit for it. Zimnya Hota, or the Winter Hunt or Winter Hunting, and it's an interesting series of uh, things he requested for it, so we'll go into Hunt and make sure everything gets set up for it. So he wanted it to be at 9pm on Tanier Island, which I do just want to remind you guys that if you are going to do Tanier Island or Royal Mountains, you will need the 3D FX Glide and you'll have to have the resolution set to the 1024. Otherwise, the game just does not want to run it at all. But that and that, for the animal roster, he wants the Altai Wapiti, the Eurasian Wolf, not thrilled about that inclusion, the Snow Leopard and the Snow Sheep, and then we can take everything except the Aug, and then it's with Camouflage, Double Ammo, Supply Ship, and Trank Darts. Yeah, I'm not impressed with having the Wolf on the roster without the Aug, but we'll see how we do with it. And this is actually probably going to be our first re hunt in Siberian Expeditions at night. Now, the reason why I don't normally hunt at night or dawn is because the there's a few different reasons. I don't hunt at night because I find the... Like, all the texture work, all the colors and everything, they just don't have a point anymore because everything is basically just black and green with the night vision filter. And it takes away a lot of the effort this put into, like, the skybox, the train, stuff like that. Then as for the dawn time, the reason I don't hunt as much on that is because if you look in the direction of the sun, that lens or the flare effect can be kind of hard on the eyes. So that's the reason why I've avoided those two for the most part and just stuck mainly to the days. I also don't know if the animal behaviors actually change all that much or not for like changing up the time of day. I'm, I've had like mixed opinion come through on that, whether that's actually the case or not, so... Everything's looking good, Trank Darts was part of it, so I think we're good to hop in and try our luck on this Zimnyahota. Zimnyahota. In this winter hunt. Once again, requested by Golden Frog Studios, so we'll see how we do. Okay, so we're all loaded in here now. I've got ourselves the shotgun, crossbow, and sniper rifle. And I'm trying to think of what I want to start... <laughs> Start with a heart attack, frickin' apparently. We'll restart, though. Okay, we're loaded in again. I'm going to keep the shotgun handy in case. Was not expecting the snow leopard off the bat, though. Now, another thing I've noticed with the, uh... Night vision effect, like hunting at night is the bottom left, the compass rose, which you can normally use rather reliably to, or reliably. Okay, I think there's a wolf out this way. I'm going to try getting rid of the wolves first, because they're probably the most problematic, but because of the, like, filters and whatever that happen on night vision, it's... Okay, that's just my own footsteps. It's hard to tell what direction the wind is actually pointing in on the hunt that night. So, it's basically like taking away one of your senses that you'd use to help you hunt with. So that makes nights quite a bit harder to actually hunt on. Okay, maybe there aren't actually any wolves around. There is a snow leopard out this way, so we'll go try for that. The more I've been playing Siberian Expeditions, though, I think the wolves have been completely mishandled with the game, though. Like, the reason being, they are the lowest rewarding animal to have in, like, the mod in general but they're the most problematic to encounter on any hunts. They feel like they're too small and too fast, given how carnivores you just can be killed in. Well, you basically fail if they catch you. 
Now, I think the way to offset that would be so that way they don't have a small mortal zone or they have a larger one. Just to... Uh-oh. Is that him? Okay, no, he's on the run. Okay, so... Thankfully, is not coming after us. But... Because of how the wolves are, you have to basically get that mortal zone, and the shotgun's pretty terrible once you actually use up all its ammo. So, you really need to get those shots landed properly, or you're basically just automatically going to fail hunt if you encounter a wolf. You either have to shoot them from very far off... Oh. Actually, oh, see, but you're not one of the roster animals, darn it. Oh, well, at least it sounds like the moose ran off. And I... Okay, I'm guessing maybe our scent is actually blowing in this direction towards where the leopard is. It's kind of hard to tell with the way the filter kind of overlays with the compass rose, though. Honestly, the snow leopard call sounds more like you're trying to give the cat a bath or something. It just does not sound like a happy cat, does it? Okay, I didn't get any more replies, so I don't know if it's, like, ran off again or not. See, all replies have stopped, so I don't know what... Hmm. I thought it was over in this direction that the cat was. Yeah, it does sound like it's still over this way. It's just got quite a bit of distance, perhaps. But I do need to be mindful as we're going about, just because... Like, having the wolves selected is always problematic. Even when they're not selected, they're a problem. They're just too dangerous with, like, too little you actually get from even actively going after them. It's like, they only reward you 150 points. And that is very, very minuscule when you compare it to what you actually, like, nope. Oh. Okay, so, at least we know the Snow Leopard is up this way. Like, compared to what the mod uses for, like, the amount of points to unlock things, that one fit. Oh, crud. Cat's over here now. Whew. Thankfully, that actually worked out for him to be coming straight at us with the last shot. So we've actually got one animal of the roster now, so I'll switch over to something else now. But yeah, like... <sighs> hunting at night, you lose all the really good, like, fine detail and texture work. Like, you can see the pattern, but... The colors aren't as distinct or noticeable. I think I still probably would mainly prefer to hunt during the day, just because it's... Just gives you proper, like, vision of all the work put into everything. But we'll leave the sleeping kitty lie and go after this Wapiti next. I think it came from over this way we heard that reply. And then if we can get the Wapiti, we just need a wolf and a snow sheep and then that would be the hunt completed. It doesn't sound like a lot, but the thing is We've already used a lot of our shotgun ammo, which generally you want to save to use for the wolves. <laughs> I 
See, now I don't have any replies coming back from that with PD, so I don't know if this was the right direction or not. I'll try again and see. Okay, no, now it sounds like it's from back this way. I just had something click there, but I don't know what it was. Not sure if it's just a musk. Oh no, maybe just an eagle owl. Although I don't know now. Like I say, I'm always kind of nervous when I have the wolves as like the selected target or a selected trophy animal because that means they'll probably spawn more frequently than they normally would, and they are just so problematic for me. Okay, seems like it's just down this way. Didn't sound like it was too far off either. Just a bit of water to keep the throat hydrated. And see if we can get our second animal of this hunt. We still got quite a bit of time to go after the other two, as long as this hopefully goes smoothly. Okay, there he on. Okay, well, something else was also over that way that got scared off. Well, at least I've gotten a few sh hits on him. I think two. At least I thought it was two, but now that I'm looking, I don't actually see a blood... Tr Are you telling me that I actually hit the hitbox of something else that was around him? Oh man, that's another thing I dislike, is that the rock hitboxes and things like that can be kind of annoying as well. Basically only one of those shots registered that it was a hit, and I think it was one of the ones way up here. Oh crap. Okay, well, at least we got a wolf. Not exactly how I was intending to get a wolf, but you know what? As long as the shot or the sniper gets him while he's way out, I am very happy with that. This means I don't have to deal with him being like super up close and trying frantically just to get the a hopeful shot in at him. No, I did have. Okay, might have just been the eagle owl for that moment. Well, looks like they've kind of gotten themselves cornered up in this area now, whatever those two things are. At least one's a Wapiti. If I'm lucky, the other might be a Snow Sheep. I do also have to mind that I don't have a lot of ammo left in the Sniper Rifle. So I think, depending on how close we can get... It might be good to use the crossbow to try for the Wapiti. And then maybe the sniper rifle I can use for the snow sheep just as a nice easy way to like finish the request up. Oh, okay, so we got a Wapiti out there. That's more than likely the one we started on. Says it is a ways out though. Yeah, there it is. So that's quite a way out. I'm kind of 
kind of tempted to want to use... Oh, hang on. There's also... I thought there was something over there, but maybe not. Okay, well, let me see if I can get closer and get the... crossbow ready for this. So he must be on the other side. Oh. Okay, maybe that's the same one right there. Okay, you know what? He's not in a bad spot. Okay, well, I'm not sh Maybe that's the same or it might even be a different one. It could be that two of PD actually got, like, funneled up into this little area. I just wanted to... Oh, Lord, the crossbow is even harder. Man, the crossbow is horrible to try using at night. Like, unless you have the backdrop of the snow, it's hard to even see where, like, the pins are for, like, your ranging. Oh. oh, this is annoying. But we'll head back. I don't even know where the Snow Leopard was there, like, it just came out of nowhere, but... Yeah, I'm not liking the loadout of having to rely on the shotgun. But we'll try once more for this hunt and see how we do. I think the big problem, though, is... The wolves really get you paranoid into, like, having to be careful of where they might spring up. And then, like, if the Snow Leopards are silent as they are... You can really get caught off guard easy by the carnivores, and, well, it is carnivores, but... Okay, so we're loaded back in here now. I st It's definitely, like, the mortal zones are, again, something that can be good and bad. If the weapons are precise, then the mortal zones can be kind of good, because you actually feel you can reliably hit them. If the weapons are bad, though, or, like, they don't have... Oh, crap. Oh, come on, really? Oh, Okay, thankfully the shotgun managed with its first shot there to get it, but... We're definitely starting things off with uh, some excitement. Gotta... No, are you actually trying to come over... I think he... He might actually be trying to come over here. Well, at least this would get the carnivores right out of the way, but... Yeah, like, look at trying to follow that to get a shot off on. Like, will you just calm down and... Okay, so, we actually got a couple of carnivores right out of the way already. Now I can actually focus on, like, the Wapiti and the Snow Sheep, hopefully. No reply from you. This is actually no going fairly smoothly for, like, having to restart. We are already basically right up to where I was last time, or, like, the previous hunt. All I need to do is get this Wapiti and a Snow Sheep, and we have met the request. Uh, yeah, the... The wolves, I think, need to be worth more points just because of the... how dangerous they are. As you gotta remember, this isn't something like Call of the Wild or another hunting game where you actually have a health bar and, like, say the wolf will run up and take a chunk and then go off. If it was like that, then yeah, I could see them being just, like, a little nuisance you could deal with. But because you only have, like, the one life, you could basically lose a lot of points just from a wolf cutting in at you.
But if we can get this for PD again, this was a pretty interesting request to try fulfilling. Uh, it's just that maybe there is some behavior changes that come with like the day and night. Because I know I had contrasting comments on, well, see, it doesn't actually change the behavior or it does change the behavior. I know it definitely gives the different visual effect for like hunting at night, but I don't know about the animals if they actually do exhibit anything different. Because in some regards... Okay, he's only at 166. Oh, there it is. Yeah, this is probably what I get for trying to use the crossbow. <laughs> And then we'll have the shotgun just in case it comes up after us. See, he's kind of stuck. Oh! Yeah, in case he might have done that. Okay, so that actually is a three of four, so we're getting close now. If I can just... Oh, see, time limit is kind of there, but I'll... Just go a little bit more to the east and see if we can get lucky with a snow sheep. I do hate the time limit I have to keep on myself, but until the channel grows, I have to remain within these limits, because already I'm actually at a... The way some things worked out, I only have, like, a single day of float time between, like, record and upload. I'm already, like, today is Monday, and I'm only just starting to upload for Thursday, so there's not really a lot of time I have right now in between a few things going uh, in order, basically, just to, like, maintain what I've set for the channel. Well, no, truth be told, even for the amount of content I pump out, it's not exactly like a lot of it's been helping us grow either. And we've started to see quite a bit of uh, viewership building up with certain series. Like, the Hunter Classic has been received very well, and I'm quite happy with that. Uh, Dinosaur Hunt, again, was kind of like the main series that really drew a lot of people in once I started with that. I've still got a number of request hunts I can do and challenges that have been coming up, so that'll keep going. I think the big thing is just trying to, again, get those sub numbers up. We're sitting at just a little shy of 500, and it's been, like, very, very difficult to try to just get them up that little bit more. Oh, well, there's a snow leopard. I didn't even realize we started on this little area here. I thought we actually started more on the mainland. If that's the case, I'll just try running down this way and see if anything actually is out here. I kind of doubt it, but you never know. Ah, just that one animal shy of the request hunt. Again, if it wasn't for the time limit, I would try to be out here a bit more just to get that snow sheep, but I'm afraid I'll have to probably wrap things up right about here with it. A very good request that came in, though. It's just that it had some problematic wildlife we had to go after for it. Like, those wolves. You could see those things can be fairly dangerous with just how fast they can be and how small as well. Yeah, I'm getting nothing. So I got to head back with the time limit. And we'll talk about next week's request hunt. Okay, so we're back in the menu. And yeah, I do... I think I can probably fit in maybe another request or two for, like, hunts. Then I think we'll probably be close to where we're looking to go after the, uh, Siberian Tiger. If I do that, I could actually do the Tiger on Altai Massive now. So maybe what I'll do is I'll take two more requests after next week's episode. So if you have requests, leave them below. And next week's is actually going to be a bit of a special request hunt because it's from a very famous person in the carnivores community. Sorian Target actually left a couple of ideas for request hunts, so I'm going to browse those and pick one of the two 
and we'll actually be completing a request that he left for the series. And then from there, maybe just two more request hunts to try to get you guys involved a bit more if you'd like, and give you another chance, just if you have a request you'd like to see. And then our finale will probably be going after the tiger on Altai Massive. I just kind of like the theming for final map, final animal, final hunt. But thank you guys very much for joining me on this episode of Siberian Expeditions. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to give us a like, and also give a thanks to Golden Frog Studios for leaving the request hunt for this one. Let me just double check that. Zimnia Horta proved to be quite a good challenge. I just wish I could have completely fulfilled it with getting that snow sheet, but... As you saw, the carnivores can be pretty dangerous when it's hard to see them and hear them coming in. But thank you guys so much for joining me, and hopefully I will catch you in the next video or episode. Please remember, as always, survivors, to take care and stay alive.